one of the challenges we have, or what we're trying to change at the Brain and Body Foundation is, is um, the fact that at this point, only the only two things that have been given to children with sickle cell disorder are, are, are folic acids and antimalarials. That's, that's the experience in Abuja, what's the experience in Lagos? Okay, so I am coming from a patient advocate perspective. I, for one, I don't, um, we don't give um, the drugs, we give the supplements. I believe when you give them supplements to build the immune system, they are able to avoid crisis. So we do more of um, um, supplements like Jubilee, supplements like um, Citramid, supplements like Astimin. Those are what we give. Okay. Only acid is a norm for everyone. Right. For everyone. So, so, let, let me jump in here. So what, what, what I know is that in the hospital, Doctors yes. usually prescribe, and we're going to go over some of those supplements you just mentioned. But if you go to a hospital, the, the, the standard medications that are prescribed are folic acid and antimalarial. Yes, yes. They, in your experience, do they doctors prescribe anything else other than that? For me, <laughs> yeah, um, that's the norm. Yes, malaria and um, this folic acid. Yes, they do that for me. It's always like that. But then when I have when I have, when I say, okay, this is, I think what I'm feeling is worse than, is more than the medications you are giving me. And then they, they sometimes they give me antibiotics. However, I've noticed, I personally have noticed that um, I don't, uh, my body does not work well with antibiotics. When I take it too frequently, I end up having crisis. It gives really? me crisis. So yes, the antibiotics give me when I if I take one uh, capsule, I can go scot free or two. But when it goes to three, four, yes, I'm knocking the door for crisis. So which particular time, which particular antibiotics are you referring to? Is it any antibiotic or a specific one? Um, most of the time, generally, it's between um, amoxicillin, ampicillin. And then Cipro, 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 there's this other one. That one is very strong. Cipro. Ciprofloxacin? Cipro, yeah, I think so. It's very, very strong. And if I take, if I take more than one and I take it too frequently, I know where I'm going to end up. So I avoid all those. I avoid antibiotics as much as I can. What I try to do is take lots of water and veggies. I try them. Veggies and things, I, I do them a lot. So it helps me. But when I really have, when I'm really in need of that, and they tell me to take antibiotics, oops, <clears throat> it scares me. It really does. But I try to, and I try to take lots of water, even when I'm on antibiotics. Okay. Okay, that's important. Okay, so you take lots of water. Yeah. As part of your routine to keep yourself healthy and uh, yes, yes, this crisis free. Can you walk us through what else you do uh, as a sickle cell disorder warrior, okay. a winning, a winning um, warrior? <laughs> yeah. Um, the first thing I do in the morning when I wake up is um, I take maybe five bottles of water, or, uh, five, warm water, five, five bottles. bottles. Yes. Of warm water and then I take gulp gulp when you gulp like swallow oh five gulps okay got it yeah like five gulps of water and then I take an apple mm -hmm. and sometimes when I have my supplements I take um two two of it in the morning what supplement are those um I take jokers I take jubilin in the morning. And what, what is that? What does that contain? Jubilin, I think it's this tradition. It's, it's more of a herbal thing that, is, that has been put in, packaged in the orthodox way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, they did. It's a herbal supplement. It's a supplement from this 
um, herbal thing was his package, like um, an orthodox medication. Okay. So I, I take it in the in the morning, and then one thing I notice when I take it, it it makes me eat a lot. That's that's a good thing, right? More. I. Ah, it's a good thing, but I don't like eating. I don't know if it has to do with sickle cell or it's just me. I I don't really, I don't have very nice eating habits. Maybe that's why I'm so tiny for my age, but uh, so it helps me eat. It help, it increases my appetite. So sometimes when I feel, yes, I need, um, I need strength, I also take it, but when I have it, when I don't have it, I just I just dissolve my water. I take apples a lot, and then I do vegetables. Okay. I try as much as possible to take as much vegetables as I can. Any favorite kinds of vegetables that you feel work work the best for you? I I do spinach. Oh, sorry, I do spinach. I and then for for fruits. Should I call beetroot fruits or veggies? It's both. Yeah. I do beetroot. I used to do beetroot rather, but here I do. Um, what's the name? There's this thing. This, I don't know the name. I don't know the name here, but I eat it a lot. It's ah, oh, what's the name of this vegetable? Sorry, <laughs> I I I no forgot. Problem. No, no problem. It's one of this common. We'll, we'll get back to it, but you said <laughs> it's one beetroot. of this common veg. So beetroots are beetroots really is a is, yeah, really good. I used to take it. I actually miss it, yeah. And sometimes I I take it as juice as well. I just so why, think it is very it's beetroot is very good. Why did you stop? Is it not available in Lagos? I don't know. I just didn't get used to it when I got here, as compared to there. Yeah. I just think yeah. I I don't know. Maybe I have to do with okay. I'm in Nigeria now, so uh, beetroot is gone. I don't know. It just had to do with my side. Got it. Got it. Okay. So we have an idea of some of the things that you do to maintain your 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 health and to stay above yes. the. Uh, do you have, do you have check your your PCV or hematocrit blood levels regularly? What's your what's your <laughs> I I I I don't do all those routines because I don't do them most of the time. I avoid it because I don't want it to affect my psyche. One thing okay. I know about myself is um, the moment I have some news about my my status medically, it affects me. Especially because I had I had a surgery. I had surgery. I did gallstone laparoscopic surgery with gallstone, so it affected me a lot. And I think since then, when it had to do with um, some, it affected me in a very funny way. So I'm kind of I just try to stay stay off crisis as much as I can. But when it comes, yes, I'm okay. The visitor is here. I need to go take care of myself. That's, so, that's so, what I do. I understand gall, um, gallstone surgery, gallbladder surgery is one of the commonest surgeries that... Uh, that uh, yes, uh, yes. Disorder patients, yes. individuals. Okay, wow. So how has that changed your life since you had a your gallbladder was removed? It, um, it got me it got me more serious in my intakes. I I was more I was more careful with what what I was eating. My eating habits changed a bit is it was it became better than what it used to be. I'm just someone who doesn't I don't like um I, I don't take meals seriously. I don't really eat I I just do the the sweetie 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 things that's me. But the moment I had the surgery and I had to go through the surgeon I had to go through the nutritionist 
I had to go through counseling process and I was warned that I had to stay off some very fatty meals, taking ice cream, new dogs, um, bread. If I want to take bread, I had to do brown bread. If I want to do rice, I had to do brown rice. So it got me really more, it, it made me take my meals more seriously and then I got a bit scared, but that's got me more serious minded as against nutrition. So it changed me. Wow. So this, I'm assuming this surgery was done in the UK? In South Africa. In South Africa. All right. So yes. this is this is when they warned you about all these different things to, to Yes, happen. yes, yes. Did this specifically mention any African or Nigerian foods specifically that you should stay away from? Something like maybe a pussy. I didn't get that. What did you just say? Did they warn you against taking something like? No, 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 no. They 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 told me to take more more veggies, more mm -hmm. vegetables rather, more vegetables, and stay off oil and anything oily. Okay. fatty, fatty, oily. Avoid bread. If I was gonna eat bread, it has to be brown bread. If I was gonna eat rice, it had to be brown rice. And then wheat or wheat bread, and then I couldn't take sugar anymore. I had to use sweeteners. And mm. then if I was gonna take um, juice, it had to be hundred percent juice, no nectars and all of that. I, I was really on a strict um, table timetable, or, or should I call it eating table? So, so, so no preservatives, no... Uh, nothing, just avoid no, all the... If you're going to do it, do the... the real, yes, 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 yes. Wow, wow. Man, that must be tough to, to maintain. But <laughs> it, you was, it was tough. I didn't like it because I like my... I like, I like my sweetie, sweetie thing. I really like them, but I had to let go of all that and start on the food. So that's me. That's... How I got into fully, fully, fully things. Gotcha. 